can't say it enough happened on the 4th of July. Well, more than two dozen Democrats getting behind a new bill to declare President Trump mentally unfit for office, including disgraced former DNC chairwoman uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. But their former Democratic colleague, our next guest, disagrees, saying moves like this are destroying the party. Here to explain, former de Democratic congressman and 2008 presidential candidate and Fox News contributor, Dennis Kucinich. Happy 4th of July, sir. We appreciate you coming on the program this morning. Uh, and you, you've heard about this bill. Happy Independence Day, America. Happy Independence Day. Even, an even better way to say it. Uh, so this bill uh, it would, would propose that the president could be removed from office uh, for being mentally unfit. The vice president would have to sign off. It's not going to happen. But Democrats are trying to make a statement. Is it helping them or hurting them? Well, it's a political statement, not a not a medical statement. And you know, I think it's destroying the party as an effective opposition. People want uh, political parties to be focused on America's economic needs, on jobs, wages, health care, education, retirement security, and peace. And they want American politicians to be constructive, not destructive. And I think that you know what's happening here is not uh, it's not good for the country. Mr. Congressman, you're a progressive. Uh, some of the members of this bill are progressives. Others are, are, are just straight Democrats. Who is pulling this party off the cliff? Who's making it less relevant? Why is it fo so focused on being rabid against this president as opposed to you know, pro being the loyal opposition and, and presenting different ideas that the American people could ultimately choose? I, I think there are some people in the party who are still having a great uh, difficulty uh, being able to... <laughs> reconcile the results of the November 2016 elections with their own politics and we have to realize the American people were the ones who judged President Trump. Uh, they decided he should be president in November 2016 and uh, that's the way the process works and so we, we must find common ground and, and you can't establish common ground if you're slinging mud. Sure, oftentimes the tone gets set at the top as well. We've seen a couple of frankly, rambling press conferences from Nancy Pelosi. Do you believe she should, she should still be leading House Democrats? Well, I, Nancy Pelosi is a friend of mine. I'm, I, I think that the Democrats, if they want new leadership, they first have to disconnect from the corporations who are funding the party so that they can be truly independent of those forces and then represent the American people. But as long as they're tied to various corporate interests, well, it really doesn't matter who the leader is because it's the interests who are calling the shots. But doesn't, so the leader they, set the to doesn't the leader set the tone? You've lost so many elections. I understand she's a friend of yours, but might it be time to hang it up? Uh, that's not for me to say. And I think that it's up to the uh, Democratic caucus to make that call. They made that call, I might add, at the beginning of this sure. uh, Congress. And uh, they decided that she should continue to be the leaders. Yeah. I, there, there needs to be there, in the party a continual debate about the, the needs of the American we've gotta, people. We've got to leave it right there, unfortunately. As you said, happy Independence Day.